Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie and today is June 14th. So as it's June 14th, we're going to continue with the daily reflections each day, a new beginning. Here we go. Each day, new beginning. I don't know what we have in store for the reading. And um, so let's just get to it. It's a quote starting uh, Liani Cordes or Leanne Cordes. Not sure how. Um, so I apologize if I'm butchering that name. And here we go. It says, All of us have a unique talent and gift, talents and gifts. No obstacle, be it physical, mental, or emotional has the power to destroy our innate creative energies. Again, all of us have unique talents and gifts and no obstacle, be it physical, mental, or emotional has the power to destroy our innate creative energies. That's the quote from uh, Leanne Cortez. And it says here, believing this fully is difficult at times, right? For some of us, most of the time, but it is true. What each of us can contribute to the world is unlike every other contribution. Each talent is slightly different from every other talent and they are all needed. We are all needed. Creativity, any kind, in writing, photography, cooking, childcare, weaving, managing, woodworking, painting, styling, nourishes the self that feels isolated and worthless. As the self is nourished, it grows. As the self is nourished, it recovers. Recovery means changing our lifestyle. It means reaching out to others and being there for one another. It means rejoining human race by giving of ourselves, our talents for the gifts the human race awaits, needs in fact. Do we know our talents? So I will search out my secret dreams today. In them lie my talents. I will develop them. Help awaits me. Hmm. That's, that's a tough one sometimes, isn't it? What are my talents? Tell me what I'm talented at. Like, what do you like? What do you do no matter? I was trying to figure this out. It's like, what do I like? And what do I do no matter what? No matter if I'm getting paid or not. What do I go, ooh, let me do that. Or, ooh, yes, I want to go um, thrifting. Or, ooh, yes, I want to, let's let's bake a cake or let's cook something. Or, you know, what are you naturally good at? What um, do you find yourself in situations of? Or like what it says, um, be back in life. Um, what gives you that life? just by bringing out into the world. If you don't know what that is, if you're still like um, just starting recovery, it's okay. You know, things will come up little by little, day by day, writing in the journal sometimes helps to like see what your dreams are. You know, when you think you haven't been able to do them, you know, they don't have to be so far out, like 20,000 steps beyond where you're at. They could just be one step at a time. Like, for instance, um, like reading, you know, going and reading a book and, you know, imagining um, that you're, you know, that person in that story that um, is going to, on a trip, and, or they're going to, 
you know, read a book in the forest and, you know, they're getting inspired by the quietness and then, you know, finding inspiration somewhere, like going to a museum, volunteering in whatever job they give you, like in a gift shop. You're like, okay, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to work in the shop, but okay, I'll take the volunteer job and I will show up for that with a good attitude. And, you know, like, then I get to look at the paintings. I get to get dressed and, you know, wash my face, put on some lipstick or, you know, just be in the car for a minute and roll the window down or, if it's snowing out, you get to see, you know, the world around you on your way there. And then you get to see the people that are in the, the museum. And then you get to, you know, talk to them and like see what, like different things are happening. Maybe there's an art show happening. There's a local artist who has a show and um, downstairs and then you get to go to that show for a minute on your break. When you go to the restroom, you're like, oh, I wanna go see the show. And um, and then you're like, you go down there and then you get to feel inspired and you get to see the artist. And, um, and you just feel part of, you can feel part of certain things. And then you're like, well, maybe one day that would be nice, I can do that. Or let's let me just see what he, was doing and you know at the art and then you go back upstairs and you got to say oh, I want to see that art show and then maybe another day you're in a situation where you're in a, in a group of people and they said oh I went to this art show and I met this artist and you get to say oh I saw that show too and that was so you have something to talk about so like you're living life and then you go back and you're volunteering and then you happen to be trying to get a job somewhere, sending your resume and it hadn't gotten picked up at all. And you're like, well, maybe one day. I wonder why they're not calling me. And then, you know, instead of letting that get you down, like I'm giving you an example of what happened in my life. You know, and just as an example for me, um, then one day someone walks in and you happen to notice their purchase, they're buying something you hadn't noticed in the store before. And you're like, wow, those are really beautiful. Um, and I love your style, what are, you know, are you from around here? And they say, yes. And um, well, I just moved here actually for work. And then you say, oh, if you don't mind me asking, where do you work? And they happen to be the manager at the store. You've been trying to get your resume in. So instead of saying, oh my God, you guys never call me. Like I've heard some people's attitudes do that, but I'm really glad mine wasn't like that. And still isn't. I'm, working on that, being grateful, writing my gratitude list, even though I'm not getting what I said I wanted, my plans, you know? So um, I'm like, well, if it's okay with you, can I give you my resume? And she's like, well, we're not really, we're in a hiring freeze right now. And I'm like, I totally get it. It'd be totally fine. Like if I give it to you, then maybe you'll have it. I just, it would be, you know, if it's okay with you. And she said, okay. And two weeks later, I get a call because I sent the resume. I didn't send the one that I had been sending. I, I polished it up. I took out the crap that didn't matter. I kept it simple. I also listened to a couple YouTube videos to tell me like, like what to say on interviews and things like that. Because just because I think I know everything and I've done so many things in my life, attitude and ego, 
I thought, you know what? Always be open to learning. So I did that and that's what helped me clean up my resume. And as my sponsor told me, to keep it simple, keep everything simple, keep what you're saying simple. You know, maybe this isn't that simple, I'm going on and on, but that's what's just hitting me with this reading today. Creativity, any kind, writing, photography, cooking, weaving, managing, nourishes the self that feels isolated and worthless. And as the self is nourished, it grows, it recovers. So as the moon is on the North Node today, our emotions are talking about like where and how to find those talents of who we are and what we're going towards. It's not easy because we have to get out of our own way without us wanting to be discovered or any of that. And also, you know, with having a childlike innocence and, and vulnerability to be open to the beauty and action of fun, having fun with your life. That's when you know you're doing what you're supposed to do. There's like, I love my job. I love what I do because maybe you don't love certain parts about it, but there are parts that you do love about it. And those are the things you focus on. Those are the things that I focus on. I love the people I work for. I love that what, who I work for has certain ethics. I love that. I love I love the fact that people are happy when I'm able to help them. And it's like, okay, I did it. And you know, sometimes it gets grunty, but that's just how life is, you know? And um, I'm, I'm open and honored. Talents are the gifts the human race awaits, needs, in fact. And that's North Node stuff. And that's what's happening in the astrology today. Yes. Very cool. Plus, you know, the reading outlines that. So, so I'm grateful that you can um, see the, the, that closeness and um yeah hello hello to everybody and um I'll go ahead and shuffle some cards while I'm talking a little bit more I want to say um that we have many readings on this channel over 365 days worth so over a thousand videos more than a thousand videos oh my god it's like every day for the last three years almost every single day. But I know that um, Course in Miracles, we've done the whole thing. Uh, Course in Miracles and um, uh, Courage to Change, One Day at a Time in al -Anon. And well, each day in your beginning, we're almost done with it. So we also have step work on here. Just um, if you're interested, um, just go ahead on the main page of the channel and you'll be able to find that um, by just plugging in a date or a book. And here is the, the card, the chariot. There's such a pretty song, the chariot. Someone sent it to me and I had never heard it before and I love it. It's so beautiful. So with the chariot, we have um, desired progress. As the moon, this is a, symbolizes the moon also. The um because it's the chariot moves quickly like the moon every two and a half days it's in a different um symbolic sign 
in a different constellation. It's moving around and it changes also like it's full and then it wanes and it goes dark into the new moon. So um, as it's traveling, desired progress to be impulsive, possibly. You know, you'll get these sparks of, huh, that's it. Huh, that's it. Those, I mean, that's how it worked out for me. I mean, it was like slow, slow. And I kept trying and trying to get this particular place that I wanted to work. But, you know, God is more powerful than my plan. So I needed to go through a certain route in order to get a certain position. I believe that. And also a certain um, connection started off with the friendship because I I feel that, I feel that. I feel like that is my North Node at this point because Moon on the North Node happens to be on my particular North Node as well. So it's like, go, 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 go. <laughs> there you go. And um, the chariot is a great card because it means it's it's, there's some type of swiftness here. It's all on the green grass. There are no obstacles here. It's just desired progress coming with the message, connecting as this empress. This is the empress connecting as she's also the, um, she's the empress along with the, um, like the Pope, like, so connecting to the spiritual realm. So the spiritual realm, see with the winged, um, Horses here, or winged um, mythology, you know, mythological creatures. They're touching the earth, prancing swiftly, magically, spiritually. Love that. And it has water going on as well, um, with the uh, the sign of the moon bearing with that. So, anyhow. Oh boy, the tower just flew out. So there's going to be something that's going to be happening beyond our control in the midst of that. So desired progress in the tower. <laughs> oh boy. Collapse of assurance, Mars fire. I wonder what that's going to show up for, for me, at least. I want to know what's going to show up for you. But wow, with the tower just flipping out like that, that means that there's something that's going to change, um, that's out of our control, fast and swift for whatever your north node and for fun, like so that you can have more fun. I don't know what that is. Maybe you won't feel it at be in the beginning because tower is like it hurts when you're falling out of that tower. There's lightning, there's stuff going on but when you see this hard it's like things have to happen this way in order to they have to break apart in order to get to the the point of what needs to happen so it's um because it still has this grounding but it has all the elements that are built in along with the dangers that could come with that so Interesting. Let's go ahead and pray. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Let's do the third step prayer and then the serenity. So I'll start third step prayer. God, universe, we offer ourselves to the bridge that connection to build with me and to do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondages of self so that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties so that victory over them bear witness to those I may help with thy power, love, and way of life. May I do thy will always. Amen. Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know. That's why not mine be done. 
So keep coming back. It works if you work it and um, it's always okay. Everything is always okay. You just have faith and do the work for yourself and um, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. I heard that the other night. I was like, simple, simple saying, but yes, it's just true. Don't do it. I won't sweat the small stuff. Okay. Very good. I love you. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow, God willing. All right.